Welcome to the Harper Tech Academy. Today we're actually going to look at the introduction to hygiene and the differences between personal hygiene and environmental hygiene. I hope you enjoy. In this mix today you will learn about the definitions of personal and environmental hygiene. We're then going to look at the different aspects of what personal hygiene means and then environmental. Can you guess the definition of personal hygiene? That's correct. It's about keeping yourself clean and well presented and this is so important in the hospitality industry. So let's look at the elements of personal hygiene. First of all is keeping yourself clean um, with your hair. Uh, ladies especially long hair has to be cleaned. It has to be tied back, no wispy bits. Nails need to be cut back, no dirt under the nails. Always have your antiperspirant on and regular showers to keep yourself really clean. The next aspect is your clothes. Um, the uniforms need to be carefully laundered, the tea towels. Uh, you never ever wear your chef's uniform on the bus before you arrive. It's um, very unhygienic. Next, you always washing your hands after toilet, rubbing your nose, rubbing your hair, um, all of these things and I'm going to show you that next. And finally, if you are sick with a foodborne illness or diarrhea, you don't work in food handling areas because it can be transferred. Any open cuts need to be um, wrapped or um, band-aid. And remember, band-aids need to be blue just in case they drop in the food. All right, safe hand washing is so important in the commercial environment. When you go to work placement, you will actually see basins that are separate and the tap you turn on with either your elbow or a thigh. So correct technique. You'll find there's a brush mostly. So you wet the brush and your hands. Then you're actually going to put soap on the hands uh, and your brush. And then you're going to scrub your nails, get rid of any contaminants there. Once that's happened, you're going to rinse your hands and the brush and then soaping your hands and lathering on both sides of your hands, rinsing and very importantly drying with a clean piece of paper towel. Please go back if you haven't read that document on personal hygiene because there will be a couple of questions on it. Next we're going to look at environmental hygiene and it refers to keeping the actual kitchen equipment and the environment clean within your kitchen. So elements of hygiene. So we're going to start off with work practices. Now you'll get to know the food safety system called HACCP, which looks at every stage of from storage through to actually serving the food, keeping it um, safe. Um, staff training and regular monitoring forms are filled out for cool rooms. Um, benches are cleaned, uh, avoiding cross contamination. Next, handling of food um, goes all the way from when it's delivered, uh, the correct storage in cool rooms, not putting red meat over cakes, and we'll talk about that more. Um, right the way through to the service of food, looking at keeping the food out of the danger zone. Um, when we cook it, if we're cooling it down, cooling it down from 65 through to five very, very quickly. Next area is the garbage area and storage. This is really important that there are regular routines to move the garbage out and that the garbage areas are clean. Otherwise we get vermin like cockroaches, rats coming into the restaurant, which will cross contaminate our food. Uh, cleaning routines on benches, fixed equipment, large and small, making sure the linen is clean properly and also making sure that the pest control within the restaurant is done regularly is so important. Can you believe it? That's your introduction to hygiene. So now you know the difference between what personal hygiene is and what environmental hygiene is. This is the start of a much larger unit and we're actually then going to look at um, food safety systems, food poisoning bugs, but this is a very, very important aspect for every food handler in hospitality to know. So I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time at the Harbour Tech Academy.